video is part of my 12 cookies of Christmas series 2023 where I explore the Christmas cookies of 12 different European countries. In today's video I'm making a Spanish classic called Mantecados de Navidad. This is often described as the Spanish shortbread, but I would say these are a class of cookies unto themselves. They are so unique in that they're made with toasted flour, cinnamon, ground almonds, and lard instead of butter. So join me today as I share with you this Spanish Christmas classic as well as its 400 year old history. And stick with me to the very end where I will give you a sneak peek of tomorrow's video. Let's get started. First you're going to begin by toasting your flour in an ungreased skillet. You'll need 300 grams or two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Definitely don't skip this step. You'll be surprised just how much nuttiness this adds to the flavor of the cookie. Move it around the skillet and keep an eye on it that it doesn't burn. Alternatively, you could do this in the oven on a baking sheet. Just keep a close eye on it. After your flour is slightly golden and smells nutty, transfer it to a plate to fully cool it down before using in the recipe. After the flour has cooled, add 150 grams or 3 quarters of a cup of lard to a large bowl and 1 and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and 200 grams or 1 cup of sugar and then beat that until light and fluffy. Give the bowl a scrape and then add 100 grams or 1 cup of ground almonds without the skin and then beat that until combined. Next add in the toasted flour. I just added mine a little at a time just so it wouldn't fly everywhere and mix that until it's fully incorporated and then I used my hands to turn it into a cohesive mass. You're going to roll out the dough in small sections at a time. There's no need to refrigerate it and rolling it out in big sections isn't worth the trouble because it's such a delicate crumbly dough so rolling it out like this just makes it easier. Your cutter should be circular and about two inches or five centimeters in diameter. And the cookie dough should be about one inch or two and a half centimeters thick. When you push your cutter down, push it straight down without twisting it, and then transfer your cookie with some kind of hard surface like a dough scraper under your cutter to a parchment lined cookie sheet. When I tried transferring with just my hands, it became really misshapen. So this method helped to retain the shape. Then you're going to bake them in a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius preheated oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. While the cookies are baking, I'll tell you a little bit about the origins. Mantecados originate in Andalusia, Spain, Estepa more specifically. They date back to the end of the 16th century when the second Marquis of Estepa founded the convent of Santa Clara. The nuns began making pastries to sell using lard instead of butter as pigs were prolifically raised in the region due to the large number of oaks in the region's forests as well as lard being a baking staple after the Reconquista a hundred years earlier. In the 19th century, a local woman named Filomena Micaela Ruiz Tellez started making mantecados with toasted flour. She gave some to her husband to sell during his business travels, but first she dried them so that they would last longer on the journey, giving them their hard exterior and soft crumbly interior. They sold so well and became so popular that they eventually led to an economic boost for Estepa. In 1889, 15 homes were converted into small factories, and to this day the region produces and sells both Mantecados and Pulverones, a variation on Mantecados, all over the world, and they were given protected designation of origin by the EU in 2011. And now our cookies are done, and so just remove them from the oven and transfer them to a cooling rack. And then once they're cool, you can decorate them with powdered sugar on top, or you can just leave them plain. Or before baking, you can press sesame seeds into the top. That's also traditional. Looking 
forward to trying this. I've never baked with toasted flour or lard before. That's unbelievable. There's cinnamon in there, but the main flavor that I'm getting is actually the toasted flour. It creates such a nutty flavor. It's amazing. And the texture is also something else I've never had. Um, it's very sandy, but it's not dry. It's actually moist from the lard. You definitely need to make these. These are amazing. Make sure to hit the notification bell on the subscribe button so that you don't miss the rest of the cookies in this series. And I will add the playlist to this series at the end of the video so you can catch up on any videos you may have missed. And I'll see you tomorrow, but until then, here is a sneak peek of what you have to look forward to.